Greg, where did all your clothes go? They just disappeared. What? There must be a ghost in here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Derek. And I'm Steve. <laughs> Welcome to Men of the Dead, and this is Monday? <laughs> That's a <are> weird. <laughs> yeah. You're not wearing clothes. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another week here on The Dead. So, it's Monday, so you get another shirtless Greg video, apparently. Because I'm just too lazy to put a shirt on. Um, so, so this week, we're going to talk about what the hell is on our phones for apps. Oh my god, my beard. I know, <laughs> yeah. Steve, Steve shaved his beard down so that would make his CPAP work a little It's better. true, my CPAP machine has a little indicator light <laughs> and I was getting red frowny faces for about the last week and I was like, okay, there's too much facial hair in my life. And unfortunately, right now, so in our area, from, monkey we, needs a hug to monkey loves you. Yes, I went to monkey loves you. Unfortunately, right now, it, because of where we are with coronavirus, beards can't be trimmed. Yeah, my barber said he can't go in because he's too ner nervous about the COVID outbreak. Oh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not a good spot to be in right now. Um, so Steve, Self-doctored himself, which I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks great too. I'm kind of digging it. Ooh. Um, so we'll start with Derek. Derek, what do you have? What what apps and what sites do you use on your phone? Well, besides Brower, mm -hmm. and all those other ones, because everybody <coughs> has those. Um, so I like doing a lot of photo editing. I kind of like doing a lot of quick touch editing. Mm -hmm. So Snapseed is a big one that I use. Yeah. So some of these photos I've done here have been done directly through Snapseed. And it mostly just, I kind of like just kind of playing with the lights in the background just to see what I can make pop in these photos. I used to use something called Zed Camera. It used to show up with Zed Camera at the bottom. Oh, you gotta pay for, you gotta pay for some of these. Uh, I know. Apps. Otherwise you're gonna get that watermark in the bottom. Yeah, Zed um, Camera. Everyone's like, what the fuck is Owl Camera? Cause it was like in fancy writing and it looked like an owl. But, but I go between Snapseed and Pixlr, <coughs> okay. um, and uh, those are the main ones I use mainly for photo editing. Okay. Um, food, I, and there's not, besides like Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes, or anything, there's not a lot of great food apps. Yumly is probably my favorite, because that way you can just type in a food idea, and it'll give you a million recipes that were found on a various websites. They give you the ingredients without having to go through the long story of someone's trip to the old country and how seeing a hat made them think of this fruit, which inspired this dish. Right. So, um, but then if you actually want to see the direction of how to make it, you gotta you gotta go to the website and go to the bullshit story. Do you play any games on your phone? Sometimes I do. Um, mainly like I'll just get like Candy Crush or Bubble Witch Saga. It's just like kind of like fun games just how to pass the time. Why are you from Shade? You're the one that plays gambling games all the time. Shut up. I haven't got there yet. Yeah. You're the one who's involved in a class <laughs> actual class. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. Well, let Steve tell his stories. What what do you have, Steve? Well, I'm looking at my main screen here, and it's mostly all texting apps. Um, Google Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Discord, Telegram. Um, I also see Facebook and Instagram, <coughs> Starbucks. I need my Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks, Starbucks is app. a fantastic app. Uh, Growlers on here, uh, a bunch of work crap, uh, and uh, uh, an app for taking my blood pressure with a Bluetooth blood pressure monitor because I have high blood pressure. Um, those are definitely the biggest hitters. And if I, I would say anything noteworthy that I use, um, well, look at my games. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so if you like bears, you should definitely get this game. It's called Tokyo After School Summoners, and I've talked about it here before. But basically, you're a bunch of beefy furries beating each other up. And who doesn't like that? That sounds interesting. In terms of games. Um, oh, and if you're in Canada, as many of you may be, must have COVID alert app. Yes, please have that. COVID alert. <laughs> install it. It's fully anonymous. The government is not tracking you. Uh, all it does is allow you to use the built-in system designed by Apple and Google for contact tracing. That's all it does. And I know I'm coughing, but I promise I don't have COVID. Uh, yes. 
Um, maybe you should wear more clothes, you wouldn't get sick. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is colder weather, Greg. Expert uh, levels. I also, in photography, I wanted to see if I could go on Shutterstock and sell my photos for money. So I <laughs> uploaded like my favorite photo that I've taken in the last year. It's like this beautiful tree along in the middle photo. of the city. And they rejected it because it wasn't good enough. I got on there, I was able to post a photo of my parents' house in the winter and it got accepted like right away. Did they take some time to make sure? No, okay, so. <laughs> so, um, so, this, before we went camping last time, I stubbed my toe on this very couch and lost a toenail. <laughs> and when the toenail finally came off, I took an artistic photo and edited it, and here it is. It got rejected. <laughs> Ooh, the shutter stock. So <laughs> Well, Greg, what are your favorite apps? So, I mean, I've got all the obvious ones. The, the Twitter, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the what? The, I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I've got the Growler, the Scrub, all of that stuff. Um, w Bear. W Bear um, is great, except for finding glitches. Yeah. Quite a bit. It's got a few problems with the UI, but it's, it's still a good way to connect with people. Yeah. Um, the newest one that just uh, started this weekend was Pop Space. It's a new pop social media site. Uh, it seems to be taking off, so we'll see how that how that plays out. Uh, I joined that yesterday, um, and of course, you know, if you want to check out the dark twitters, you know. yes, the dark web. Well, the dark twitters. Not that that's any different than the regular twitters, but you know. If you, if, you, if you want to see adult material, you can find it on I actually, yeah, I actually heard about this in the UK. There was some bill where they were going to, like, almost ban internet pornography, but, like, put out, like, you must be 18 years of age or older to view this material on all adult yeah. sites. And then the industry people were like, great, so what are you going to do about the porn on Twitter? And the politicians were like, Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like that would work the same way as yes, yeah. I'm not a robot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what about the porn on Twitter? Oh my god. Um, think of the children! Think of the children. Oh my god. Um, I have TikTok. I haven't really used it recently. Um, oh, I do. I sing songs on Smule, which is a karaoke app. Smule? Smule. Um, as Derek mentioned, <laughs> I might or might not have a minor gambling liking that I <laughs> that I've been filling the hole with gambling apps. Tell them about the class action lawsuit. One of them is in the middle of a class well, action. Two of them are in the middle of a class action lawsuit. Um, sites um, that are by Playtica is the name of the company um, for microtransactions. So you know, and I've definitely spent. Fair, my fair share on my Virginia. So the lawsuit is basically that they're, <coughs> arguing, they're arguing that having a casino app with microtransactions is essentially no uh, different from a real casino. Right, and they can't function that way because it's it's still gambling, online gambling, unless you have the proper licensing, is still illegal. So it's so them taking money for microtransactions is still illegal. So apparently there's a class action lawsuit going in, and Google's had a subpoena for my information, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I just find with games on mobile, there's just too many push notifications that come Ooh. through, and I just like, I get stressed out. You, you, just turn, you just turn off the push notifications. Like I was playing uh, Final Fantasy XVS or whatever that is, mm -hmm. the, mo the mobile one. I was playing the Kingdom Hearts one, mm -hmm. but I felt like every time I put down my phone, there was something I had to do. Yeah, yeah I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I don't really play a lot of those, because it just pushes too much urgency. When Sometimes I just want to listen to music. The other big one right now is Among Us. I, I downloaded that and I've, I've played that a few times on my phone and I've liked it. We also have it on Steam as well, but, um, but I tend to play it on my phone more than they do on Steam. <clears throat> what else do I have? Like, my, my, like, I honestly had to upgrade my phone recently because I, I had my phone was too full of apps. That's and, true. And you know, a lot of apps. I did have a lot of apps. And then I also, to be fair, I didn't realize that... Um, Pictures from Telegram were getting stuck in my phone every time someone sent me a picture. So picture or pictures, videos, <laughs> videos. videos, even oh. worse, right? Videos. Um, so yeah, so yeah, <laughs> there's that. Um, 
So what we're getting at is like, I'm a big boy. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm you saying, it here I'm saying it on camera. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not. Um, any, anything else you guys want to? Anything else that you guys do on social media or such? Is there any? You're a Pinterest guy, aren't you? Um, sometimes. Um, I do go on in Pinterest trying to kind of like decorating ideas and oh, cooking okay. to kind of get some ideas of things to do. I like that. Um, even, uh, but I just find sometimes it's just, it's not really user friendly as much as I'd like it to be. That's why I prefer Yumly when it comes to recipes. Betty um, took over the show. Yes, she did. Yeah, I, I guess I would add, um, I have an app called Well Simple Trade. Oh yeah, we both do that. When, uh, yeah, when uh, when the coronavirus pandemic hit, I thought, oh, I know it would be interesting. I'll put some money in accounts and invest it and try and make money. And I haven't made that much money, but I'm not down, so. I'm overall, down right now, unfortunately. Overall, I'm winning. Stupid Cineplex is taking me down. Uh, but I'm not seeing like big league investor more friendly. Greg, do you use TikTok a lot as well? Um, I haven't really been using it as much lately. I've been watching videos, but I haven't really posted anything in a while. Yeah. To be honest, I'm a little scared to post videos because they've really been cracking down on LTGB and blocking their accounts and stuff, so I'm kind of scared to post anything in case I get blocked. Mm, uh, that would make sense. What was that, um, what was the app you wanted to talk about? Space. Yeah, I mentioned it already. Yeah, we already talked about it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, wow. so yeah. Check out Pop Space. It's it seems to be attached to the same makers of Brommer. Um and Chase Chaseable. And Chaseable. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, so definitely it's it's worth checking out if you're in the pop community at all. Um. All right. Uh, I think that's it. I think that is it. All right. As as always, like, share, subscribe. Tune in to the rest of the guys' videos this week. And have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye. Bye. You got your wet ass. Pussy. How did I miss that entirely when you brought that up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't